Hey everybody, just wanted to give a quick shout out to Discount Gowns and Ammo in Springville, Utah. This is where I come to do my review videos. Um, so anytime you see me at the gun range, this is where I am. These guys down here are awesome. They have guns for sale, parts for sale, ammo for sale, gunsmithing. You can rent their guns um, and they obviously have a range as well. And they are fully stocked, good to go. So if you live in this area, if you live in Springville, Utah or anywhere near this place, check these guys out. They are awesome. Hey everybody, welcome to Prepper Junkie. Today we're gonna to go over a Palmetto State Armory 16 inch M4 carbine. So let's go ahead, let's unbox this and see what we get. All right, so inside it comes with a mag pool uh, back upside, this is for the rear. We get a Palmetto stamped steel magazine, Palmetto sticker, and obviously the M4 itself. See if we can close it. There we go. Put this up here. All right. So uh, let's take a close look at this and see what you get for your money. Uh, so at the back here, you can see this is an this is a Magpul buttstock here, and obviously it has the multi position there. Has a nice rubber pad at the back here. Not that an AR-15 kicks much, but obviously it's still nice for uh, for comfort. Um, so it's a nice nice upgrade to a basic uh, AR-15. It comes with the Magpul MOE hand, uh, grip here. It's the plastic one, it doesn't have the over mold on it, but it's still a really nice upgrade. And it does have the, uh, the storage compartment in the bottom there, so you can store batteries or wherever else you would like. Moving forward here, you have a FTE Magpul trigger guard. And the trigger is uh, Palmetto State Armory's uh, EPT trigger, Enhanced Polish Trigger. It's a really nice step up from a mil-spec trigger. Um, it's nothing like a Geisler or anything like that, but it's certainly an improvement over the mil-spec that typically comes with an AR. So it's really nice. Um, on the lower receiver here, you can see that it's, it's, not, it's not stamped here. It doesn't have anything here. It's more like their stealth kind of lore, as they call it. Uh, moving forward, we have the MOE um, handguard from... From Magpul again, as you can see, all the furniture on here is from Magpul, which is a super nice upgrade. Um, and again, it's it's super comfortable to grip in the hand. You can attach flashlights and whatever else you may need to that. Um, and moving forward, this here is so you can attach a sling if you want to put on a sling on your rifle. Uh, moving forward a little more here, this is obviously your front post. This part here is so you can put on a bayonet um, if you wish, uh, each to their own. Uh, the barrel is stamped on the front here. It is, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this, it's stamped 556 five, NATO 1 and 7 twist. So if you don't know the difference between like a 556 five, and a 223 barrel, if you have a 223 barrel, you can only shoot 223 ammo. If you have a 556 five, barrel, you can shoot a, you can shoot 556 five, ammo and a 223 ammo, but you can't do it reverse on the other way so if you get a barrel make sure you get the 556 five, and at the end here obviously we just have the bog standard a2 flash hider which works great it is a carbine length uh, gas system the, gar the the gas block actually is attached to your front it goes into your front post this is just essentially your gas block um, and that works really well uh, on the flip side here let's have a little closer look here on the flip side you can see that it's stamped PSA logo here it is stamped PSA into the actual receiver here uh, multi-cal with a serial number. It comes with a bog standard uh, bolt catch, fire safety, and it comes with a standard charging handle. The the uh, bolt carrier grip inside is Palmetto State Armory's very own uh, BCG. They make these in-house, so it's not a third-party company. Um, and then the inside, it comes with a standard um, mil-spec buffer and uh, and steel buffer spring. These rifles are coming in at about just over $500, and I honestly feel like these are the best rifles for the money at that price point on the market. There is other offerings such as um, uh, Smith & Wesson, and the M&P Sports 2, which are phen phenomenal rifles. They're really great. I've owned them in the past, no issues with them. There's the Rugers out there. 
you know, you can pick them up for about 500. So there's a lot of offerings, but why do I say this is the best for the price? Well, those other rifles I mentioned do come with a lifetime warranty. So does PSA. The nice thing with PSA though, in this, this configuration, it comes with the upgraded furniture. This furniture alone is at least $100 with the handguard, the buttstock and the grip and the FDE um, uh, trigger guard right there. So that alone puts the value you know, above, you know, if you're, if you're looking at like a $500 Smith & Wesson or a $500 Ruger or whatever, they're all coming with the basic, basic furniture on there. Nothing like this nice Magpul furniture. So this alone is a step above. The trigger also, as I say, is a step above the mil spec triggers that come with um, those other brands. Uh, I mean, they work fine, but they're not, I mean, the, the trigger is just nicer on this rifle. It's a $40, $50 trigger um, upgrade. So you're talking like $150 of upgrades over what a typical $500 rifle would cost you. Um, and PSA for me, they've been phenomenal. I've had a lot of their rifles. If you've watched my channel, I've had a lot of their toys, a lot of uh, AR pistols or rifles, AKs, and they've been absolutely great. Good to go, uh, no problems at all. So this is an excellent, excellent budget-friendly AR-15 that I highly recommend, especially for the price. Um, there's not much more I can say. It's been great. I have taken it to the range. Um, I know a lot, I didn't use this stuff because I wanted to do uh, a backup. An unboxing video so I didn't open that stuff but I have taken it to the range that have an optic on it um, and shot it and it was great no failures nothing at all it's, it ran it ran perfectly so um, definitely worth the money highly recommend especially at that price point I don't think you're gonna find a better rifle for the money so yeah all right guys questions comments please link them, uh, ask them below I, I'm always happy to help if I can in the description I'll put a link to this rifle and the uh, black version there is a black version with the black MOE furniture so I'll add that into the description also and, you know, as always, I really appreciate you guys. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one.